want the babysitter to suck my dick? What's going on guys, it's Crassus Gaming and welcome to the channel, but if you're new, no, wait, no, wrong, welcome if you're new and do hit the like and subscribe button and if you are returning, welcome back, I'm here and I'm hopefully going to finish this text space, can't speak today, I'm hopefully going to finish this text space game my brother made for Morian, for Morian War, I've been calling them FOMOs or FORMOs, uh, FORMOs I think I've been calling them, so where we left off last time, there's been a lot of there's been a few things I've brought up and hopefully they get picked up in a beta test uh, which is currently ongoing at this moment as we speak because I'm literally filming this all back to back so if you guys um, if you guys are enjoying this do let me know and if you are making your own games let me know I won't know at this point because like I said I'm just filming them back to back but do send me your text based games if you are making your own but so far we've um, we've gathered our allies we've got our army we've gone into the swamp and this huntress lady um, who is an elf apparently wants us to defeat the swamp beast we've encountered the swamp beast and we're going to try and lead it to water because apparently that is the uh, weakness of the swamp beast even though it lives in a goddamn swamp but <laughs> we move uh, so we're getting attacked by the beast Morgana throws a dead rabbit nearby uh, and fires it into the bog the beast follows the dead rabbit knocking over knocking me over in the post process but it gets stuck and it sinks to death. So we drown the Swamp Beast. Well, Morgana more uh, accurately has um, defeated the Swamp Beast. Fair play, she's finally doing something. I've been very critical of Morgana and her character so far. Um, and a little bit critical of the story as it goes. But I'm finally, ha I, I, I'm finally seeing what Morgana can do. She's a talented archer, apparently. Or archer. Archress? Archer. She's a talented archer. So, here we are. We can either go to bed with Morgana or we can go to bed alone. Let's just go with Morgana. Please don't let there be another cringy sex scene. Please do not there be another cringy sex scene. Okay, cool. We're just both going to sleep. Nope. <sighs> another cringy sex scene. You kiss Morgana. She takes off her nightgown, but just before things continue, you both hear a noise. It's not Dago. It's the Huntress. She apologises but quickly realises what's happening. Room for one more. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is... Is this... Am I, is this um... Is this an action game? Or is this porn? You want the babysitter to suck my dick? Oh my god. Oh my god. God. Okay, so do we have a threesome or not? Let's have a threesome. Christ. More God as well. She is pretty hot, so I'm in. Oh yeah, I'm bi, but it wasn't important until now. It's still not important. It's not important. Oh, Christ. They begin making out and feeling each other's breasts. Breasts. You put breasts. But I gathered what you meant. Holy fuck. <laughs> so luckily the um he doesn't the game doesn't go into any more detail. Thank god. Um but basically we're leaving. Everyone in this game is really fucking horny. Like really fucking horny. <laughs> the time has come, it's nearly winter by this point, but if you don't defeat the foremost now, you will have to wait until spring, and by then they'll probably kill everyone. How will you arrange your forces finally? Right, so, um, I will take the lead. A leader should fight, should lead by example. The elves are going to have the archers at the back. Sweet. Right, the battle rages on. Bodies drop to the ground, never to rise again. You're getting closer and closer to the lake of the isle. The queen, along with several warriors, help clear the path. Take the shards and two of my warriors with you, for the book is written in a language that only we and the foremost can read. They will translate it for you, show the sword, and the path will open for you. A giant former with huge horns on his head is talking to us. He's nine feet tall. And he's the one from your nightmares. His name is Rhaegor. They now are alone and they call me Rhaegor. How can you speak? Why did Alfred betray his own people? We are not amused. 
Alfred was the one who let this ancient evil into the world in the first place, communicating through his dreams, like this creature's been doing with us in our previous dreams, previous in the game. That's pretty cool. His large fist swings at you, you manage to dodge just in time, but you stumble and lose your balance. The gate remains open and more foremost pour out of it and head towards the mainland. He's then swarmed by three more. City warriors kill many by the dozens, but are overwhelmed and even the queen is struggling. So our army is getting their ass kicked and we're getting our ass kicked. So Rag Rhaegor has moved to punch us. We can duck and attack his leg. We can block his arm and slash it. We're going to duck and go for the legs. A creature like that will go for the legs. You manage to duck and spin away, cutting his leg deeply. We made the right move. You can't win. Your friends and allies will die and we will destroy this pathetic kingdom. Ooh. Things are getting desperate on the mainland, we're losing hundreds of people, we'll lose more. To beat your enemy you must know them, you try and focus on what you know about the gate. Close it by magic, slip past and hope, or screw it and attack. Close it by magic, we know that. So what I've gathered is that we've closed the gate, the formers can't get through anymore, we've stopped their invasion, but the leader is still alive. We stand in deep with the sword, he lets you go and screams in pain, clutching at his wound. Knowing this, you don't let up, summoning all your remaining strength, you shove the sword downwards and Rhaegor dies in agony. You lean against the stone pillar you were before and ponder your next move. We seem to have won, Morgana is bloody and out of breath when she finds the city queen, Crassus has done it. Indeed, the only question that remains is, do they live? A flash of light appears and you are back on the mainland. Morgana runs up and gives you a hug, when Dago finds you he does the same. Survivors of the battle overjoyed that you were successful, but there is still much to do. And look at that, Every Albion has once again been united under our leadership. A year has passed since the formers were defeated and much has changed. Uh, we were crowned king due to our bloodline. So, so we've moved into the main area of Lancaster. And he's become sort of like a, a local MP, if you will, to oversee that area. Whereas we're the Prime Minister. Ask Morgana to marry you or I'm happy ruling alone. Well, of course we're going to ask her to marry her. In the years that followed, King Crassus and Queen Morgana became very popular with the people. Elves were given more rights and protections than ever before, even being allowed to enlist in the army. Dagno returns to Evergreen as appointed Seneschal, so essentially again he's just the local governor of the area. Peace talks between the two faiths proved to be a success, even though there is the occasional report of violence and the followers mostly live in peace. The city retrieved the book and returned to their ancient home, Ternabnanok. But not after giving you the sword as a sign of friendship. So let's break this down then guys. Um, so I'm going to do a quick uh, overview of what I think about the game. Uh, please don't be too harsh on this. Uh, like I said, it's being beta tested at the moment. Hopefully some things will get changed and added and some spending things will get corrected. But I'll give my overall impression of the game. So for, uh, I've enjoy I enjoyed that. I, um, I didn't really care that much for any of the characters in particular. I didn't really mind if any of them died or who lived. It, it the game didn't really inspire that in me. But the actual story of it is quite, I think, is a compelling idea. I think it's a very good idea, and I do enjoy these kind of games. Definitely, if I had any critiques, I'd say add more images. So when we met the huntress, there was the image that uh, was provided for us. That is brilliant. That is a good point to make on these games. Add more of those for every character you meet definitely add them for locations so we can get a bit more of a feel for it you know just uh, images help these kind of games i know you're inspired i know you're encouraged to use your imagination for these kind of things but still i would definitely add more images less cringy sex scenes okay so um you have the opportunity to have at least three i think from what i gathered and the first one fuck me like oh i just died inside and then the threesome one was even worse like unless it adds stuff to the game itself there's no need for it or if you are going to have a love interest in the game have it be one of those um vague kind of ones will they won't they kind of thing and then literally only have let them have a kiss or something at the end of the game something like that was because like I said this is about telling a story that's what these text based games are doing and that was just cringy apart from that I quite enjoyed this game uh, quite a fair bit so fair play brother well done um, I have engines and I do want to make my own but more importantly guys I want to make I want to play yours so do go on dashingdon.com do make your account do make your own game 
and send them to me. I would be very intrigued to see what stories you guys come up with. Something maybe a bit completely in the opposite direction to something like this. But you know, for now, I will leave it there. Thank you all for watching. And again, if you have enjoyed what you've seen on the channel, make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.